I'm going to show you how to use the fraction or number pieces app rather to find a fraction of a set or of a group of objects. I've got the problem already set up for you here to help. Here's the problem. Jasmine has 24 Funko Pops. She displays them on three shelves with the same number on each shelf. One third of her Funko Pops are Harry Potter characters. How many of her Funkos are Harry Potter characters? So I set up three red lines to represent the three shelves that she stores her Funko Pops on. The problem asks about one third of the Funko Pops being Harry Potter characters. So I've checked one of these shelves to show that that's where she keeps the Harry Potter characters at the top, of course. And I helped you by putting the correct number of number pieces on the mat already. We have 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 24 number pieces representing the Funko Pops. So what we have to do next is make sure that there are the same number of Funko Pops on each shelf. To select multiple items, you can draw a circle around them like this. Um, you can't go off the edge of the screen or it doesn't work. There we go. Now, as you can see, I don't have the same number of Funko Pops on each shelf. So what I'm going to have to do is break apart uh, these tens. So this is the break apart button called break pieces. You click that and now we can try to put the same number of Funkos on each shelf. So this is better, but I still have too many on the bottom row. So I'm going to break that one apart too. And I think this is the same amount on each shelf, but you have to double check because if you have one of these uh, rows scooted over a little bit, you might trick yourself into thinking they're the same when they're not. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, there's eight on each shelf. So one of those shelves the one that's checked green is going to be her Harry Potter characters because the problem says one third of 24. So on one shelf, she has eight Funko Pops, eight Harry Potter characters. So you can write the answer down here with the pen or with the text tool or with the equation tool. I'll use the text tool this time, eight done. Notice it's not anywhere close to where it needs to be. That's okay, we can move it. One third of 24 is eight.